Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me just say, today is February 28th, 2014. Mt. Gox, the biggest Bitcoin exchange at one time, has declared bankruptcy. Now, I don't say this lightly, but of all the plays that I present here online to sports bettors, right, to gamblers in general, in my opinion, the best possible play you can make right now that I know of is to invest in Bitcoin, right? Understand that Bitcoin is a disruptive technology that is vastly superior to what has come before it, right? Every day you have billions of dollars going around the world, right? In financial transactions and transfers. What Bitcoin actually allows users to do is to send money much more cheaply than they can under even the best current system right if you're gonna send money internationally if you're gonna send money locally across town you simply cannot match the low price of sending Bitcoin now Let's just draw an analogy with regard to the Mt. Gox bankruptcy, right? I'm in my 40s. You might be too. You remember when cell phones first came out, right? Years ago, in the 80s for most of us, right? You might recall being out someplace, needing to use a phone and wondering where the nearest payphone was. Right? And then you started seeing people. Back then, they were carrying briefcases, right? The phones were that big. The phone would be sticking out of a briefcase, right? They'd be carrying briefcases, and you noticed a few people actually started using cell phones, superior technology, while you were out looking for a payphone, while you were trying to figure out if you had enough dimes and quarters to actually afford the call you wanted to make. People around you were actually able to receive and make phone calls from their cell phones, right? It was superior technology. Now, back then, if you heard that one cell phone carrier or one cell phone handset maker had gone BK because of a flawed business model, right? happenstance or outright mismanagement and or fraud right that wouldn't negate the superiority of the technology versus landlines right you would still know that that technology was valuable why because of your own need to make phone calls while mobile Right, because of your own need to make phone calls when you're away from a landline. Now understand, Bitcoin does cell phone technology one step better. Just imagine if while you're looking for a landline and you see people with cell phones, and you're thinking to yourself, wow, that cell phone technology is an advancement. It's superior to a landline phone because of its portability. Now just imagine if you then learned that the cell phones actually were much cheaper to use than your landline. Just imagine if, and we're going back in the day, just imagine if instead of paying 10 cents a minute, you could actually use this cell phone for less than a penny a minute. And of course the cell phone user has portability. They can take that cell phone all over town. They can make calls 
where you can't make calls from a landline. So it is with Bitcoin. Bitcoin not only does more than current financial transmission systems, but Bitcoin does it for far less money. In other words, I'm in California. If I wanted to send money to, let's say, family members in New York City, I can do so much more conveniently and much cheaper using Bitcoin than I could using PayPal, right, or by sending a check through, dare I say, snail mail, right, or by making a credit card transaction and paying credit card fees, right, and so you need to view the Mt. Gox bankruptcy as just a bump in the road. The real story here is the superiority of the technology. Let me go one step further. Right? One of the brilliant things about Bitcoin is that it's decentralized. Right? It's not centralized. So as a result, it doesn't have the fragility of a centralized system. Mt. Gox was just one Bitcoin exchange. There are many others. Many, many Bitcoin users had no exposure to Mt. Gox whatsoever. Right? That would be like hearing that one cell phone carrier had problems. Guess what? There are several. More importantly, because cell phone technology is superior to landline technology, the failure of one cell phone carrier or one cell phone handset manufacturer wouldn't upset the ecosystem. So it is with Bitcoin. So I've read the comments here in my earlier Bitcoin video. Uh, Bitcoin dipped. You have to understand, even the dip is curious. Obviously, Mt. Gox fell apart. Mt. Gox, on the road to bankruptcy, had greatly reduced Bitcoin prices. That wasn't the market price of Bitcoin. Right? You knew that. That's like a store on the corner going out of business, liquidating its inventory. Right? The real price of Bitcoin continues to be several hundred dollars as I make this video post Mt. Gox bankruptcy. The price right now of Bitcoin, if you go to coinmarketcap.com, you'll see it's north of $550 each. Folks, Mt. Gox is in the rearview mirror, not the windshield. Let me just point out that there are going to be windy moments, turbulence, as Bitcoin's adoption spreads, just like there were windy moments and turbulence as cell phone technology spread, right? But it won't be until the marketplace offers us a product technologically superior to Bitcoin that Bitcoin will truly be in trouble, right? As long as Bitcoin is the technologically superior mode of conducting financial transactions, of sending money across states, across countries, as long as Bitcoin has the technological superiority, right? And the huge price advantage. It's going to be okay. By the way, while the world looks at Mt. Gox, right, while people like John Stewart are preparing to have segments on Bitcoin on tonight's daily show, right, while critics of Bitcoin are criticizing Bitcoin and laughing at the fact that Mt. Gox has had to declare bankruptcy. 
Understand that Coinbase, another Bitcoin exchange, has quietly passed 1 million accounts. Right? The laughter is going to die down when people start to realize that most of these government issued currencies, right? You know, the one that's losing value right now in your wallet if you're an American, right? Most of these government issued currencies are inferior, right? If the US dollar debuted today as a fiat currency, right? Not on the gold standard, but as a fiat currency, it would be viewed as vastly inferior to Bitcoin, right? If I were holding a dollar bill in my hand, how am I going to get that dollar bill to family members in New York City as fast as I can sending one dollar worth of Bitcoin, right? Couple in the fact that Bitcoins are designed to have, right, a tangible concrete limit. There's only going to be so many issues, right? And combine that with the fact that some of these government-issued currencies have no limit, right? The money printing is so out of control that currencies such as, for example, the currency in Zimbabwe, the currency in Ireland, who am I kidding? The currency here in the United States of America have, you know, literally lost much of its value versus an ounce of gold. My point to you is Bitcoin long term is likely to even hold more value than paper fiat currency. So give it a look. Enjoy all the jokesters. Look at my earlier Bitcoin video and read the comments, right? Several people saying, oh, Bitcoin is now below $400 and stuff like that. Then what I want you to do is to look at the actual price of Bitcoin on CoinMarketplace.com <laughs> or visit Coindesk.com. Look at the fact that in the last 24 hours, right, this is while Mt. Gox is declaring bankruptcy, there were $24 million worth of Bitcoin transactions, Right? Couple in the fact that there were several other million dollars worth of transactions in the last 24 hours of Litecoin. Right? Look at some of the other coins out there. Folks, cryptocurrencies are here to stay. Bitcoin has first mover status. The market cap on Bitcoin right now, for all the naysayers, by the way, continues to be roughly $7 billion. Understand, in the world of financial transactions, while $7 billion sounds like a lot, it's just a small portion. Once people understand that this technology is here to stay and represents a technological advancement that's even beyond the advancement of the cell phone versus the landline phone, then it's really going to get interesting. Why is this better than your typical sports bet? Just imagine if... You made a bet with a casino, and that pay bet paid off tomorrow, and then continued to pay off, right? What you're looking at is upside equity participation on a scale that a typical event-based episodic sports bet can't match. So to the gamblers, to the investors out there, I say, look, learn up on Bitcoin right read about Bitcoin you might even want to open up a very small Bitcoin wallet online and just send someone five dollars worth of Bitcoin let me point out too because it's a digital currency you don't have to pay five hundred and fifty odd dollars for an entire coin right Bitcoin's divisible you can literally and this is one of the beauties of the technology Go out there and buy $5 worth of Bitcoin, right? Send that $5 worth of Bitcoin to a friend. Call up the friend. See if they received it, right? Work with a friend. Have the friend set up a Bitcoin wallet online. 
once you realize how seamless the transaction is, once you realize how low cost the transaction is, once you compare that transaction to the way you've been doing business up to this point, the cost of sending that $5 that you've been paying up to now, you'll more fully understand what Bitcoin is all about, the breakthrough that it is. Why Mount Gox's bankruptcy, simply put, is a non-event. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. The reason I'm making this video is simply because I've gotten an avalanche of comments to the earlier Mount Gox video as well as emails. Right from a lot of people who I'm sure are well intended, who seem to feel that the world is crashing, that life as we know it is over, that Bitcoin is about to go to zero. To those folks, all I could say is look at the ticker. It's at 550, it's at a $7 billion market share. Folks, just remember today's date, February 28th. I'm just here to tell you, as we get to the later part of this year, if you're looking at this video, you're going to be laughing at how cheap Bitcoin was today. Thanks for stopping by.